Joining us on the show today is YouTube's most popular rabbi, Rabbi Manus Friedman. Hello. Good morning to you. Good morning. So we got you on our show because I came across your book. Um, it's called The Joy of Intimacy, A Soulful Guide to Love, Sexuality and Marriage. And I instantly was intrigued because my perception of a rabbi is a religious figure that doesn't really talk about doing it. And then you've put out this book that is all about embracing our sexuality and making our marriages work. And I really loved that juxtaposition. Well, embracing our sexuality or reclaiming our sexuality, because I think we've lost it. Yeah. And do you think that the pandemic has highlighted that we've lost it or we lost it because of the pandemic? No, no, we lost it uh, slowly over the last couple of years, actually since the 60s. Oh, I was all afraid yes. of in the 60s. Yes. Yeah. We decided that sex doesn't need to be so serious. It doesn't need to be such a strong commitment. So where did that get lost along the way? Well, we took the intimacy out of the sexuality, and that's a disaster. Without the intimacy, husband and wife feel alone in the world because without the intimacy that bonds them, they are alone in the world. They have a good relationship, it's working, but they're two separate people living under the same roof. I don't think it's an uncommon story. I think a lot of people are on paper and on the surface and on Instagram living their best life with this person, but behind closed doors, they're almost strangers. The sad statistic is that couples married or living together are intimate maybe once a month. Really? What's the, what would you say is the right amount? What's the goal? Yeah. Every night. Every e night. Sex every night. Well, gee, every Glenn, night. my husband's going to be really happy with yeah. that information. <laughs> sure is. I mean, why not? Yeah. And, th and there are plenty of reasons, you know, you do, you do get tired and there is stress, but ideally, why not? Is it one of those things where, uh, I forget how long they say it takes to create a habit. 30 seconds. Oh no, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> But if it was to be something that you did every night for a good like couple of weeks. 21 days. I think 21 the, days, that's yes. That's the theory. I don't know how concrete that is. but Because it feels so foreign to say every night, but then if you did it 21 days straight, it would just become this thing, I guess. Would, that, would you create a habit in that way? Yeah, but you don't want it to be a habit. You want it to be intimacy. Right. Can I ask a question? You're a rabbi. And the, I, I don't know, and that's why I'm asking you. Like, are you allowed to be married? I Were you, have you been married? How does that all work? Uh, rabbis are no different than any other. We all are obligated to be married. It's one of the first commandments in the Torah, be fruitful and multiply. Are you living by this then, Rabbi? Are you intimate every single day? Let's not get personal here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you got to walk the walk, man. <laughs> the smile on your face. Says maybe you are. I'm not sure, but okay. I mean, you're 75, so like, do, do what works, Let me tell man. You this. We have 14 children. Hey, what? there you go. There you go. Okay. Wow. That's a sturdy nod you're giving us there too. So, all 14 right. 14 children. That's incredible. Yeah. I have okay. one child. Yep. <laughs> A good start. It's we a all start with one. Great start. <laughs> what, can That's I just amazing. ask before we go, what do you do if it's one-sided, like in the relationship? That's a good and, question. Because you will find you don't all often come in on the same page every single time, even with intimacy. So what do you do in that regard? Because you can't just be like, come on, let's go every single day. The brilliance of Judaism is that it creates and forms a lifestyle that actually helps you attain your ideals. You never try to be intimate with the lights on. That's garish. That's that's so impersonal. It kills the intimacy. That is super interesting. That because Glenn's <laughs> always like, can we leave the light? I'm like, turn the lights off. Lights off always. I thought eye contact would be a part of intimacy though, connecting yeah, through the eyes. Point. Again, intimacy is about a person, not about a thing. And your eyes only see things. So yes, you'll see each other, but you will see something thing. about each other, so which like stops you from connecting to the person. Can I just add one more situation into the mix? Because Gandhi and his wife just bought a new bed and it's, it's a... <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask you about that, actually. It's an adjustable bed. Yeah. So they've got... 
It's a king size bed, but there's like the two separate bits that go. So you can sleep in zero gravity. Well, we believe in sleeping in two separate beds. I knew I was onto something. Yep, I was onto something here, Hang Rabbi. On a thank second. you. Very graphically, if he is interested in intimacy, have him show a little initiative. Get up and come Walk to across her. Across the room. Right. Yes. Okay. Don't just roll over with the wandering hand, <laughs> the dodgy hand. It's like you know. It's like we're here already anyway, so we might as well. Yeah, show an interest. <laughs> the Joy of Intimacy, A Soulful Guide to Love, Sexuality and Marriage. Uh, Rabbi, thank you so much for joining us on the show this morning. It was fun. Thank you. We have a Sunday night program for VIPs that you might be interested in. It's informal. It's questions and answers. It's conversation. It's really relaxed, it's really pleasant, enjoyable, informative, and uh, kind of community-like. It's a Sunday night program. There's a um, Wednesday morning program for the VIPs, and there's a Wednesday night program. All of it, just conversation, casual, laid back, unscripted. So. Join us, take a look, click uh, the link below and see which, which of the three suits you best and join us for some enjoyable conversation.